Hey friends, welcome back. It's Llama Mama Kayla. And today I'm getting ready to crochet my granny squares together. I've put a border around each granny square. Some of them are kind of wrinkled up because they were just in a little stack and I just slapped them down here to see how I wanted to arrange them. But I have a um, border, a gray border around each one. And so, I, I actually had 24 squares, and I decided to do one more square, so it would be 25. That way I could go 5 by 5. So I have 5 across and 5 down. And it's just a small um, size blanket, you know, it's not, let's see if I can get where you can see, yeah, you can see here. It's not, you know, going to be too huge. Um, too big or anything or you know it's not really too small either it would make a great baby blanket or just a lap blanket to throw over your legs or something if you were sitting so anyway um, my granny squares are six rounds and I used a J hook and I did six rounds and then I stayed with the J hook and did the um, the crochet border around it that I showed in yesterday's video and I promised that I would come back and show how I'm putting my squares together so that's up next okay I am ready to crochet my squares together so I have my squares laid out and I have the front facing up on all these squares so I'm going to take the face and put it onto the face. Have the two faces facing each other for my first two rows. So I'm doing that all the way down, even though it's off the, you know, several of these down here are off camera. Two of them are off camera. Three is right here. So I'm just going to try to kind of pull this in as I am crocheting it. So these kind of line up. You have your corners. You have a chain two in your corner and a chain two in that corner. So that's what I'm putting my hook through. The chain two spaces. We have a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in that one corner. So I'm putting my hook in the chain two space. And the rest of these just kind of line up. Like here's the chain three space, chain three, chain three, chain three, all the way down until you get to your corner again. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. This is so easy and so simple, and um, I, this is my favorite way of joining granny squares. So I'm pulling my yarn through, and I'm going to chain one, Okay. Then I'm going to go back through that same chain two space and pull through to do a single crochet. Okay, and then I'm just going to let that tail hang to the side there. Or I can't, well, I'm just going to let it hang. Okay, and then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to go to this first space right here where these chain threes are. And I'm just going to do a single crochet in there. Okay. And then I'm going to chain three. Three. And then I'm going to go to the next space. And I'm going through both blocks. And I'm just doing a single crochet. And then one, two, three chains. And the chain space here, single crochet. three single crochet and we'll look at this in just a second and see how it looks one two three and then single crochet okay one two three and then a single crochet And then one, two, three, and then we're going to go into the chain two space on the corner. 
it's a it's a single crochet chain two and single crochet we want to go through the chain two space on both blocks pull your yarn through and then single crochet now before we move on to the next block I just want to look at this and see how it looks I'll open it up and just show you how it joins there it's really kind of a squishy join it's kind of um I don't know I just like it I really like it so as you're doing it it might feel like oh this might not hold or something but it is I mean it's it's there I've done lots of blankets like this and I've given lots of blankets as gifts that are done like this and I see those blankets posted in pictures all the time so I know they've held up okay so I am going to the next set of squares remember I have face the face top facing the top and I'm just gonna find my um, chain two space on the corner and chain two space on the corner okay so for this um, I'm gonna chain like two instead of three let's try that because it's not you know you're not such far such a far gap so I'm gonna go in my chain two space and in my chain two space and single crochet You know, I think we might chain one. Let's see how ch what chain one looks in that. So right here I have my single crochet. Let's try chaining one. What, did I, is that chained one already? Let's check that. Okay, here's single crochet, chain one, and then come over here and let's try that. And see how it looks. I mean, you could always change this up to ever how you like it to look and then single crochet okay and then we're gonna come down and do the this way also so it'll kinda connect it together so I think I like chain one better right there okay now I'm just gonna kinda scoot this down so I can try to stay on camera with you guys and then I'm gonna chain three and single crochet one two three and single crochet so you can see this is so easy like this is just like the easiest way to join a granny squares or any kind of blocks you know as long as you can crochet around them this is just so easy and I like easy I don't know about y'all but I like easy <laughs> and single crochet and see how fast this is going I mean really it um, is very fast too let me um, pull out some of this yarn over here all right I chained three so I'm gonna find my corner single crochet chain two single crochet and I'm gonna go in that chain two space through both corners and I'm going to single crochet, chain one, and then I'm just going to jump right over to this one, go in my um, chain two space there, and chain two space here, and I'm just going to keep, keep on going, crochet, and then one, two, three, and single crochet into the chain space and another single crochet all right I'm just gonna go ahead and chat with y'all a little bit while I'm working on this if you don't mind um, today's Thursday and we are expecting some severe weather Ugh, I don't like severe weather so I don't know what that means for us it could mean tornadoes 
It could mean, you know, flash flooding, all kinds of stuff like that. I, look, there you I live in, in my yard and everything, is lots and lots of trees. So, uh, tornadoes usually hit in, I want to say places with, you know, no trees. I, I mean, I'm just saying they can hit anywhere. But the likelihood that they hit <clears throat> at my house is, I think, is slim. Although I know that they can. But, you know, that's not a, really a big worry. But we have lots of trees out in my area. Uh, I live in the woods. <laughs> And um, the roads around me are wooded, you know, have lots of trees and stuff. And so our biggest concern really is the, um, that trees come down on power lines and we lose power. That would be the worst thing. <laughs> and today was like really hot, like 70 degrees tomorrow it's supposed to be like 70 degrees and then fall to 30 degrees by night isn't that just crazy I feel like I feel like this year and last year we've had like just very bizarre weather. I think this little blanket's gonna turn out cute. I wish that I had, you know, been able to do the um, pillowcase that I wanted to do, but the squares were just too big. So I might do some smaller squares to do a pillowcase. So I'm in my corner and I'm just doing them. Um, crochet in one single crochet and here's my last part for this row and I'm going in a single crochet I mean the chain two space and the chain two space there and just single crochet so tell me what y'all think about this join have you used this kind of join before or, you know, what's your thoughts on it? What is your favorite way to join granny squares for a blanket? Because we all have different ways and that's fine. You know, I have ways I like to do things and you probably have different ways that you like to do things. <laughs> This works for me. It's just so simple and easy. So it's Thursday today and we did a grocery pickup last night. So we're good on groceries. So we don't have to go out this weekend and get groceries or anything. Um, We are good to just kind of kick back this weekend and enjoy the weekend. Well, you know, my days and weekends are the same. But Big Daddy will be off work. <laughs> okay, so I single crocheted in this last one. And I'm just going to pull the yarn through again to tie it off. And um, I'm going to clip it. Did I clip it? We'll clip it and then um, just pull that yarn through and tie that off right there. So this is what we have so far. And see, we have loose little gaps, but we're going to go back and do those. So isn't that neat? Okay, so next, this is what we're going to do. Oh. We are going to take our squares from um, the next row up and just bring them and lay down here. 
And we're, that's what we're going to do is just lay those squares on here. And to, do make sure you, you know, you put the face to the face or in front to front. Um, I know you can't see these last little two I'm doing down here, but I'm just stacking them on like that. And so I'm just going to kind of fold these up a little bit, like a halfway there. But I'm working up here on this section. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm just going to find my um, chain two space and put my hook through it. I'm going to get my yarn. I'm just going to, let me see, I don't know if you can nearly see what I'm doing there or not. Where am I at? I'm right there. Okay. <laughs> If you've never tried to record yourself crocheting, you don't know how difficult it can be. <laughs> and it can be difficult to, like, remember to stay on camera. I mean, you got to watch the camera, watch what you're crocheting, think about what you're saying. It's, it's a lot to it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull my yarn through the chain two space on both blocks. And then I'm going to chain one. And go back through that same chain two space pull my yarn through and single crochet okay and then we'll chain three and then I'm gonna jump to that first chain three space here and just put a single crochet there and then one two three and jump to the next one yeah, so as I was saying, it's a, it takes a lot of thought. Like, half the time when I make a video, I, I don't say half the stuff that I want, meant to say, and then I say more stuff that I didn't even want to say. <laughs> when I get to rambling, I just, I forget what I was supposed to even say, and then I say stuff, and I'm like, why did I even say that? <laughs> Oh, sometimes I feel so goofy. Sorry about that. Okay, I need chain three. One, two, three. But it, it is a lot to think about. You know, you got to watch your camera, make sure you're staying on camera, watch, um, you know, keep up with your crocheting, counting your stitches and stuff at the same time, talking thinking about what you're saying and what you need to say and it's a lot <laughs> I mean I enjoy it you don't get me wrong I enjoy it but sometimes it's hysterical like I'm just like what in the world did I say okay I'm gonna put a single crochet in that last little spot and then I'm just gonna jump right to the next square and so I'm finding my corner single crochet chain two single crochet and I'm gonna go right into that just making sure I did that right, right over here yes okay I'm gonna chain one and then put this on my hook and there we go So anyway, I, I oh I'm single crocheting. Sometimes I forget if I'm single crocheting or what. <laughs> um, so I do not consider myself like any kind of expert crochet or anything like that by no means, no means. You know, I I learn something every day. But um, my son Dakota needs me to teach him to crochet. Back in November. He and I had went to Target, and he needed a Christmas tree skirt. And so we was just walking around. He said, oh, let me go look at the Christmas tree skirts. I need to get one. And we went and looked at them, and oh, my gosh. I mean, I hadn't bought a Christmas tree skirt in many, many years, but, God, they were expensive. They had some beautiful ones, but they had beautiful price tags with them also, you know? And so I was like, 
he probably would have bought it if it hadn't have been if I hadn't have been there saying how expensive they were. <laughs> you know, I'm frugal. <laughs> but um he I, I told him, I said, your best bet would be to learn how to crochet and crochet you one. I mean, they had some beautiful knitted ones, um, some that had, you know, looked sewn. They had all different kinds, but, you know, like I said, they were pretty pricey. And so I said, your best bet would be, let's go to the house, let me teach you how to crochet. <laughs> and he laughed, you know, and he said, yeah, I need to do that and then um it went to about a week later or something like that he sent me an item a crocheted item that he wanted that I'm not gonna make and he said okay I guess I need to learn to crochet <laughs> so I need to teach him to crochet but with his work schedule and um, I think I might do some learning to crochet videos, mainly for my son, but if anybody else, you know, wants to join in, watch them, you know, whatever, that's fine. If anybody else learned something from it, that's fine. Or if anybody wants to jump in the comments and give some tips for him, that's fine too. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that. I'm not exactly sure when. I, I wanted to start it this year, but I just got off to a slow start. But I think that's coming up. Just a little series to teach Dakota to crochet. He, he'll, he's very crafty. He'll catch on real quick, I know. So I think I'm going to do it, teach him with a large hook and a bulky yarn. That's the way I learned, and it just worked out really good for me. I was able to see the stitches and see what I was doing better. So I believe that's what I'm going to do for my son, Dakota. I can't remember if I chained one. Yeah, I did. I love how fast this works up, right? So we already have three rows together. And we only have we have two more rows to go, so. Oops. Oh. Well, I pulled that out. Let me go back to the single crochet and then chain three. So, a lot of people ask me about the way I crochet. I did not learn to crochet until I had lost all these fingers. When I had 10 fingers, I didn't care nothing about crochet, and I didn't want to learn that. My friend Shalita, hey Shalita, she's Knitting Dog Nanny um, on YouTube and on Instagram. She tried her best to teach me to crochet, but honestly, I couldn't see the stitches. I couldn't, I didn't understand what I was doing, and I really didn't have that much of a desire. <laughs> to crochet. It wasn't until after I lost all these fingers that I decided, hey, I want to learn to crochet. So, yep. So some people ask about why I use my hand to bring that yarn over. It's just easier for me. Um, it, it basically now it's pretty much just habit, so that's why I do it. 
I can do it like that without without it, but for some reason, um, it just feels awkward or something to me. I, I can, but it just feels awkward. So I just like to use my hand. It's no, no need in trying to change now. I'm used to doing it like that. And honestly, I mean, I hope that I do not ever lose any more fingers, but I think I could still crochet even if I did. But I mean, I hope that's not my future. I need these fingers for other things. <laughs> but I still think I could crochet. You know, there's a saying, and I'm not sure exactly who said it. Don't let what you can't do stop you from doing what you can do. So, just because I can't do some things doesn't mean I can't do, you know, other things. So, I do whatever I can do. And I enjoy crocheting. It gives me something to do. Wow, look how pretty that is. I love that. It is looking beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to just go ahead and fold these up just for space purpose, you know. And then I'm bringing this next row to me. And I'm just making sure that I do have the front facing up, the top. And I'm just flipping that on here so it's front to front. And I'm doing the last two the same way. I'm just going to come back down here to this corner and start. I mean, golly, just in the length of this video, I've almost put this together. So I'm going to end the video, not end, I'm going to pause the video here and get this row on and the next row, and then I'm going to come back and show y'all doing the other, other crochet and these together, okay? Because you've seen me do several rows of this, and I'm just going to do the same thing add that row do the same thing and then I'll come back and I will show you how I am gonna do the crossways all right guys okay I'm about to finish this last row of joining these together it didn't take me long to do this at all I mean I did this in one sitting It just seems like it went by so fast. If you can single crochet and chain, then you can do this border and join. Okay. I'm going to clip my yarn. I'm going to do those tails, leave these tails in later. Alright, so here's what we have. Get my yarn and hook out of the way. And flip all my squares out so I have those. And then I have, um, you know, all five. Now all the rows look like this. a gap in there. So all we're going to do is lay this out. I unfolded all my squares and I'm just going to turn my blanket. Turning it this way 
and got all my squares laid out there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, here's my first row, and that would be the second row now. So I'm just gonna fold this up, just like that. Line these up where, you know, my corners match. I'm just kind of getting them, you know, lined out pretty good. All right. And then I'm just going to come back here to this very first corner in the chain two space and stick my hook. I need to find my, the tail of my yard. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Get me something pulled out. All right, basically, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. The same thing. Just going in a, you know, when this row is already connected across here, so I'm just connecting this away now. So I pulled that through. I'm gonna chain one. Go back through the same chain two space both blocks and pull through for a single crochet. Chain three. And if you ever, you know, are not sure that you got your corners good, you can always fold that out and look to double check. Because it's best to double check before you, you know, <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're, you know, unsure or just not quite sure if you did it, go ahead and double check it before you get too far. <laughs> okay, so here we are. I don't know if I did that other, the first part on camera. I'm sorry if I didn't. And then I'm just going to go that first space and single crochet and chain three. Make sure that's laying flat. Yes, it's, it's cooking good. Yeah, like it has not taken me any time to do this. I'm just doing this all in one sitting. Therefore, it you know, because it seems like it's not taking very long. And so I'll have a completed blanket. Well, I'm, after I get all this joined, I'm going to do a border. And that might be, you know, tomorrow's video. So I did three. Okay, so right here, I'm going to <clears throat> kind of look and see where that corner is. I can see it right here. Here's my single crochet and my single crochet so that chain two space is right in there so I'm just gonna go into that chain two space and it brings me right out at the chain two space in the other square so I'm right in between these two single crochets single crochets and so I'm just gonna pull my yarn through single crochet chain one and then I'm, I'm gonna go right into this next one in the chain two space and then the chain two space for the other block and single crochet and now I'm going to chain three and jump right into this chain three space to single crochet so the only time I'm not chaining three is right here on the connecting the, you know, corners together. Oops. Uh, I lost my yarn. <laughs> okay. One, 
two, three. This is just so simple. And same thing, I see the single crochet and the single crochet. So I'm gonna go right in there. And when I come out on the other side, I'm right in between the two single crochets. So I'm right in the right spot. And I'm gonna chain one and do the same thing right here. Wow, that's working out just perfect. Now I'm going to chain three and single crochet into this one, and then we're going to stop and look at this for a minute. So I'm just going to lay my hook there, down there, and I'm just going to unfold this back. So we can just look and see how that's going. Oh, it's a beautiful. I, I love the look of this. I mean, it's just beautiful. See, it just it's squared up perfectly. Even this one right here and that one is just squared up really well. I love it. And it, it's a good enough join. I mean, you know. I really like it. Okay, so I'm going to fold this back up and then put my working yarn back up here. <laughs> and just come back to where I had single crocheted and chain three and single crochet in the next one. Ooh, I'm on a roll now. So it shouldn't take me too long to put all these, um, to go in this direction. And then tomorrow I'll put a border on it. Alright, so if you've stayed with me this long, I appreciate you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I appreciate y'all so much. Um, you can tell me in the comments below, you know, what's your favorite way to join. And also what you think about this way. You know, you might not like it. And that's fine. Don't be afraid to say so. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and just crochet these rows together because it's the same exact thing. Okay, I'm on this one, so I need to single crochet, I mean, chain one. No, I did that. I already went from this one to that one, so I was talking and lost what I was doing. <laughs> I need chain three. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I don't know. I think I said I was going to pause the video and um, go ahead and just finish up these rows the, the same exact way that I'm doing right now. And then I will come back when I get to the end. Because, you know, I don't want to make the video so long that y'all can't stand to watch it. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, I am just about finished with my last row. This is so exciting that I was able to just do this so quickly in one sitting. 
I mean, I haven't got up. I've just been single crocheting and chaining three. So, if you think this join is easy, give me a thumbs up on the video there. And if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to tell you a secret. This secret is just going to be between me and the few of you that stayed to the very end. So, my husband sleeps in his underwear. I think lots of men might do that, you know. So, no big deal. So, he was in the bed, and while I had the video turned off, and I was just sitting here crocheting in silence, he came to the doorway. He needed to go past to go to the restroom. So he came to the doorway and he motioned that he needed to walk through and go to the restroom. And I just shook my head, yes, I didn't say anything. And as he walked by, I said, we see your hiney, so white and shiny. Y'all, we almost got a divorce right then and there. <laughs> I had to show him and prove to him that I was not recording. <laughs> and then he was mad because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. And he was mad because, <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> we almost divorced during the making of this video. <laughs> and no one else is going to know that except for the few that stayed till the end. But that's just too funny not to share. We still might divorce if he watches that. If he watches this and hears me saying this, we still might divorce, huh? <sighs> oh my gosh, that was so funny, and it's still funny. He didn't think it's funny. Maybe tomorrow he'll think it's funny. <laughs> oh god, I like had an asthma attack laughing so hard. Oh goodness. <laughs> Okay, y'all don't tell anybody, it'd be our secret. <laughs> okay, so I'm right at the corner of this, about to finish this up. My last row, I'm still gonna have to go back and um, weave in my ends. I have, you know, little strings at the beginning and the end of each row. And I'm okay with that because I like the way the join looks. So, let's see. I just got this last little corner. And I'm gonna clip this tail to weave in. Woohoo! Yes, this is so exciting. All right, let me get my yarn out of the way. Looky, looky. Okay, that's the back side. <laughs> Looky, looky. Oh my gosh. I love this. I love all these bright colors. I mean, some of the colors are kind of dark, like this one is dark, but it just looks very beautiful with all these squares around it. You can see the um, joins just lined up perfectly. I'm just going to pull it around and show y'all. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love this. Okay, so, yeah, it looks great. I'm looking at each corner, just making sure that it's all there good. I don't know why, but I just want to double check things. <laughs> and so far, it looks good. It looks really good. Okay, so this join, I want to look at it on the back side. It does create this little bit of a ridge, but, um... You know, that's on the back side. It's no no big deal. So now I just got these ends to weave in. I'm going to weave those in. And then we're going to put a border on this. 
So, I don't know, I might come back this afternoon <coughs> with a border video because Friday I really want to show you my mandala blanket so, um, and how far I got on it. So I might do, I might come back and do the border video later this evening or it might be Friday too, I might have two videos then, I don't know. But, um, uh, love this and I'm gonna go back and number these videos um, the one where I did the um, the border around each square will be number one and then this one with the putting the rows together will be number two and then my border will be number three so anyway I really love this this right here Okay, here's a look of how the blanket looks all put together. I still need to weave in my ends. And I'll be back for another video to show putting on a border. Um, and I did do like dark green, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, the lighter green and the lightest green. So there is a green diagonal because I had five of that and it's the only color that I had five of so I just did that and the rest of the squares are just in there kind of randomly but um, I really am pleased with it I love the join you can see it's a pretty join alright guys I appreciate y'all watching so very much and I will be back with part three of putting a border on my blanket.